Okay, last part. So, uh, I looked, and uh, this edge isn't extremely uh, sharp, or at least not as sharp as I wanted. So, let's go ahead and just box select all of that. And we'll go ahead and refine our selection. Okay, and press S, Y, and we'll just scale this in. That looks better. Okay, so now we're done. And I think it looks pretty neat. Uh, if you, if you want to change anything, you know, feel free to do that. But I'm looking and I'm quite happy with it. I don't really want anything at the back. Okay, so now let's go ahead and set up our scene to render it. So as you can see, compared to our camera and lamp, which will move to the first layer, this sword is way too big. So all we need to do is go ahead and scale while we're in object mode. Select our emblem as well. Scale. You know what? Let's just go ahead and join our uh, these two. Press con uh, either Alt J or Control J. It's Alt J. I think. No, wait. Did I do it already? Yeah, I did it already. Uh, so it's either one. I'm pretty sure it's uh, Control J. But we'll scale it down to our desired size here. And once we have that there, we'll go ahead and press uh, Control A, and we will apply the scale. So now, if we press Alt S to clear the scale, this is the actual scale. This is it at one. Oh, I wonder it's all slow. It's at two, uh, three subdivisions. So, first thing, let's go ahead and press Shift A, add an empty, and let's go ahead and move this over to the side for now. And we'll go ahead and select this uh, light here. And then shift select that, control T, and we'll have a track to constraint. Let's go ahead and select our light and go over to the light settings here. We're we'll going to change this to spot. Let's ch change this to inverse linear because as you can see, it's a lot brighter. And let's go ahead and change our, uh, our um, type of shadows from buffer shadow to buff, uh, from ray shadow to buffer shadow. Sorry. That's pretty good. Now we'll go ahead and bring this right here. And uh, now, before we keep going with the lamps, let's go ahead and select, set up our camera setup. So let's add another empty, bring this over down here, and do the same thing, select this, then that. Con Control T, track to constraint. Now, wherever we look at with the camera, it looks at with the, the empty. So let's go ahead and bring this right about to the middle of it. Let's go ahead and press Alt G to clear the where we are clear the location let's press zero and uh, that's cool I think actually you know what let's go ahead and uh, delete this um, empty because we are not going to need it I just remembered the way we uh, set this up is different so let's go ahead and select our empty empty let's go ahead and press alt z to go into shaded view here, textured view, and if you see here it's all white and that's because we have a UV texture applied to our our um, sword because when we started out we started with the base uh, default cube so let's just press minus on UV text and now you can see the, what we're gonna see later so select this here and we'll, whoops, why isn't it following the empty okay that was weird but there we go with the uh, one. Use the first one. We'll actually uh, let's go ahead and position our camera so that we can have our fill light and our backlight. And this is following the other empty as well. I think I deleted the wrong empty. Let's go and select this and press Alt P and clear the parent and uh, keep the transformation. Hmm. Okay, I guess we just have to cl uh, clear the parent. But it's not working. Whatever. I guess I just gotta control Z and undo everything until I deleted the last empty. So let's delete this empty. There we go. Alright, so let's delete the UV texture again. Let's set up our camera.
seems like it's a kind of I don't know a little different anyway okay I don't want to spend too much time on this okay good, uh, good enough so now we got our first light here. Let's go ahead and give us a slight, really, 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 really slight yellow. Okay. That's actually way too much. Right there is good. Now uh, that we have that, let's go ahead and select the lamp and the empty. Press Shift D. And uh, move these just a little bit. Now we have a. Uh, Another lamp, let's just go ahead and make this uh, like 0.5 or so. We don't want that as bright here. And we'll go ahead and rotate this around and bring this down here. And we want this light to cover the top half. So we'll just go ahead and bring this over here. All right, and we'll make this one slightly, uh, slightly blue. Okay, now um, let's go ahead and make this other lamp a little bit less energy, 2.8. Now, um, I have to say that Blender crashes on me constantly when I render, so I'm just going to save really quick. Okay, so now uh, another thing I can stop that from happening is turning it to the, um, the image editor. seems to stop it from crashing. Oh, it's very small, so let's go ahead and turn this up to 100. That's the actual size of the image. And it looks good. But let's go ahead and add some approximate and ambient occlusion. So ambient occlusion, uh, we can keep multiply on. And actually, let's turn on environment lighting. Let's go ahead and turn ambient occlusion down to uh, 0.65. That's cool. And let's turn get, uh, uh, gather from ray trace to approximate. And that's good. So let's save one more time. Save, F12, I'll just take a second now. Okay, it looks fine. Great. So now that we have all the rendering stuff down, let's go ahead and press Shift A, Curve, Bezier Circle. And we have a circle now. Uh, let's go ahead and press RX180 while we're in edit mode, you'll see in a second. And then we'll go ahead and select this the camera and then the curve and press control T and uh, was it control T was it or was it control P yeah control P and to parent and follow path so now if we press alt A it will rotate this way because if we would have wouldn't have turned it 180 degrees it would have went this way and a little would have looked a little uh, weird so let's go over here to curve uh, settings here and uh, frames let's go ahead and turn this to 250 250 frames and now all we need to do is uh, parent these lights to the camera so that they follow the camera when it moves. So now if we press Alt-A, we have a group lighting system here. Okay. So save one more time. Check the time that we have. Okay, so I'm going to pause it and then uh, just show you guys the finished result once it's done rendering. So see you guys in one second. Actually, one more thing. Let's go ahead and uh, we want to change this to, from a PNG to AVI JPEG. Let's go ahead and turn this to quality 100. And I think we're good. Yeah, so I just wanted to share that little last bit of information. All right, see you in a second. Okay, guys, it just finished rendering. So let me go into full screen here. And now you can see the finished render here. And it looks pretty nice with the with the ambient occlusion and everything and yeah it only took a it only took uh, four parts and that's actually pretty good because uh, if you were doing this without you know a tutorial just blazing through it you could probably get through this in about 20 minutes so yeah that's it and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, if you guys make any uh, turntable videos of sorts that you make uh, please uh, post as a video response so I can see you guys' work. 
And that's it for this tutorial. And be sure to watch future tutorials. Alright guys, thanks.